hey guys welcome back to the channel so today's video is gonna be pretty interesting um, it's gonna be another surgery related video so if it is your first time to my channel and you didn't know uh, recently I had VSG also known as the vertical sleeve gastrectomy which is a weight loss surgery where they remove um, a majority of your stomach and that's how you wind up losing a lot of your weight because you can't eat a lot of the foods that you were eating before and you can't eat the same volume of food that you were eating before so I had my surgery on November 20th of 2020 um, we're in May now so I'm about to be six months post-op and I have already lost 79 pounds so it's definitely been amazing I went from 310 pounds and I am 231 as of today I just went to the doctors um, I'm getting all my levels checked out and everything because I am planning on getting a tummy tuck and a BBL in the Dominican Republic so I know a lot of people are probably thinking I'm insane um, for wanting to go to a different country, but there's actually a number of reasons why I'd rather go to DR Dominican Republic rather than doing it here in the States um, They've been doing it a lot longer and their results are just so much better. So Yeah, we're gonna be talking today about the doctor that I'm choosing and also the recovery house that I'm choosing so um, I know for the states it's a little bit different usually when you get your tummy tuck a lot of the patients do it with a doctor near where they live so you could just go home the next day and you can care for yourself that way now I'm going to a whole different country so I'm gonna have to stay in a recovery house and there's nurses and doctors and massages that I have to get and stuff like that and of course I'm gonna take you guys through all of that so um, you could either stay at a recovery house or you could rent Airbnb and rent like a private nurse. I'm just going with the recovery house um, just because I love the recovery house that I'm choosing and I've been following them. I've been planning to do this for like about two years. Um, that's actually why I got my VSG surgery. Um, when I started researching it about two years ago, I was very overweight after having my second son and that's what led me to making my decision to do the weight loss surgery and then go and get my body done. so i'm going to be making a ton of videos for you pretty much what you need to know before even going over to dr um everything you want to have set up with you everything you want to pack with you to bring with you and anything that i could think of any videos that you guys could think of let me know so i can plan and make those videos i want to talk to you guys about the different garments that we're going to have to wear um they're known as fajas and so there's a stage one there's a stage two and then you could even go to a stage three if you really want like that hourglass shape um i know some u.s doctors don't even make you compress and wear those garments but that's why i feel like dr is so superior because you are like in these little fajas and they make you get your massages to get all of the fluid out and then you're in these tight tight garments to essentially mold your body to that shape um so i want to do a video on that i want to do a, a video on like belly button and scar treatment just because after your surgery you get a whole new belly button if you do the tummy tuck and i've seen a lot of girls put marbles in their belly button to because you want to keep the shape you don't want your belly button to close so i want to make videos on that the type of vitamins that you guys want to take um if you have a low hemo levels your hemoglobin um to get surgery in dr a lot of doctors require at least a 12 for your hemo levels i think mine are around like a 14 so mine are pretty good um so that you know you could take a lot of different things for iron to boost your levels i want to make tons of videos so like i said it's really not just you go get your body done one two three and you look perfect there's a lot of planning there's a lot of aftercare after you get your surgery um, massages keeping up with massages and all of that stuff it so it's pretty intense I'm a little bit nervous for sure it's really scary but 
I feel like making videos like this, um, you know, I don't want to promote it or encourage it, but if, you know, you are someone like me who I've carried two kids, I've lost 80 pounds so far, I'm probably going to lose more because I still have six more months. Um, you know, the first year you lose a lot of your weight. Um, you know, I, I want to do this for myself. So, um, you know, helping if I could give any advice or if you can learn something from my videos, then, you know, that would make me happy. Like, I'll, I'll feel good. Um, but going into the surgery, so let's just talk about the doctor I want to choose. My doctor, um, originally, uh, when I first, first started this, I wanted to go to a doctor called Felix Almanzar. And with research, I found that he's had deaths, infections, burns. Like, you definitely want to research your doctor. I can't stress that enough. Um, you don't want to die in this process. Like, that's not my goal. Like, of course, I want my body done, but I, I want to live after this. So, um, my next choice after that was dr duran so i'm sure if you guys are researching this you already know who dr cabral is they are like head and head they call him the king and she's the queen so their results are truly amazing but with that comes a lot of attention they have a lot of followers stuff like that and it's almost impossible to get a quote from them to even communicate reach out to them because they have so many people who want you know their services so i would have to hire a coordinator and that's a couple extra hundred dollars which i just really don't want to do um so which has led me now to my final decision of dr guticelli um so i'm about to place a deposit with him and i know myself that all my levels are pretty much good um i'd recently just had surgery so i know that i'm a good candidate for surgery but personally for you um if you've never had any type of surgery before you put any type of deposit down for anything um definitely get your levels checked out um for hemo any type of levels and ask your primary care doctor if you would be a good candidate for surgery because if you start putting deposit down um, a lot of deposits are not refundable so you would lose out on all that money um, there's a lot of other tests that you want to get done as well before you even get on the plane to go to DR because the last thing you want to do is go to this different country play pay for the airplane ticket and you get there and then they tell you you know you can't get surgery so you want to make sure you know two weeks before you go that you get all your levels and that you're clear for everything to go into surgery but we'll get there when we get there but i am going to be placing my deposit soon i'm going to be picking a date so for myself since i had vsg surgery normally any type of surgery they want you to wait a year post-op so i'm planning for around march just to give myself a little bit of space there so november would make my year november 20th 2021 would make my full year um after getting this weight loss surgery that i recently just had six months ago and then it gives me a couple more months just to like maintain what maintain whatever weight i'm going to be going in at so right now i am 231 so i want to try to just lose 30 more pounds i want to go into surgery probably around 200 pounds just because with this um procedure that they do they would give me a tummy tuck and then they do lipo so the lipo that they do they take out fat to be able to give you a bbl which is a brazilian butt lift but they use your own fat back into your body so they lipo it from your back um your sides here and i don't want to have no fat for them to work with so i think 200 would be a good weight and now moving on to the recovery house that i'm going to be choosing um since i've been researching this for two years i am in tons of different facebook groups, dominican facebook groups all the surgery groups you could think of I'm also in a lot of United States Facebook groups and that's what led me to DR because I'm telling you guys the states did not have the same results as DR does. So um, 
the recovery house that I am choosing is Healing and Beauty. So, of course, I'm going to leave everyone that I'm talking about linked down below. I'll leave all the doctors I talked about and then the recovery house. Now, there are tons of recovery houses in DR. This is another thing that you definitely want to look into and research. This is where you're going to be vulnerable in pain and healing. You don't want to go to a recovery house and they're dirty where you can get an infection. You can get you know they don't care for you properly that would be like your worst nightmare you can't move you're in pain people speak a different language you don't know what's going on you do not want to be in that situation so the reason why i chose healing and beauty i've been following them the past two years they're you know they're actually pretty fluent in english the massage therapist um, his name is Oz. He's actually a part owner with his wife. They own this recovery house. She's like the doctor and he does the massages. So it's like the perfect little duo couple right there. They have the most amazing reviews. His hands are godly. They call him like the third hook gang. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, on your faha, there's like different levels of hooks and you want to be on the you know the tightest one to get that hourglass shape and he will get you in there before you leave the recovery house so i don't know i just have really good vibes about it um again i don't know if i mentioned he's from the states so he speaks perfect english perfect spanish and i'm sure a lot of their team speaks you know they're trying to learn english as well um but remember spanish is their number one language um and then dr guticelli himself i know i've seen tons of videos of him on his instagram speaking in english so i feel very very comfortable with the decision i made um i feel like it's going to be a really good experience at first i was really really nervous about it so that's why i'm making these videos just because even myself i am half spaniard half puerto rican i know the language you know i grew up around it i know a lot of it i can't speak a lot of it um i understand though but i even i'm nervous and i know the language so i can only imagine how other people feel um not knowing any spanish at all like i don't know how the girls went through with it and did it but i see tons of girls do it so i don't know i'm just gonna film this journey and hopefully it'll be helpful to someone so again it's gonna be probably like eight to nine months down the road but i figured i would just put this video up get the ball rolling for this series um and any type of videos that you guys could really think of just comment down below and i would love to make those type of videos so i'll see you guys soon i just went to the doctors today i'm checking my thyroid levels and my hemoglobin levels to make sure everything is good um you know since after this vsg surgery it's a lot harder for my body to absorb like vitamins and everything so i want to just make sure all my levels are good and maintain all my levels up until surgery um so i'll come back up on here and upgrade and update you guys all on that and i'll see you guys in the next video